Okay. Now we've let these dry overnight. Um, and we're going to need to take a look at the edges just to make sure everything's, everything's nice and even. And remember when we were making, I think I can feel it right here. Can you see that edge right there? We're going to need to get that to focus. Come on, focus. There you go. That's going to need to be taken care of. And most of the time you can, you can, um, I'll do it with my scissors. You can do it. <laughs> you can see, I just went ahead and grabbed my knife and started to do it with my knife. You can do that. Um, however, the scissors are much easier. This is one of those instances where, um, having, doing, sometimes I take the lazy way out and I just grab my knife because I don't want to be bothered with scissors. Um, so you're going to go around and make sure, and if there's anything like that doesn't look, take your, your, your little bit of sandpaper and get those taken care of. Uh, just sand it. And I'm going to, like I said, I just, you can feel the edges and then I just come along here and snip. And these are what I call, these are my all purpose kind of, I hate to say it, my kind of crap scissors. No offense, scissors. Um, and if it's, if it's too close to cut, just use, just use your, your sandpaper to do that. Um, oh, there's a big piece over here. Come on. Now, what we're going to do next, come on. There we go. There we go. That's a girl. Um, what we're going to be doing next, after we trim these off, is we're going to be, let me get this out of the way, these little places where we put the, the holes, I'm going to, I'm going to cut those out. Now remember, you're going to use a craft knife and we're going to go really, really slowly. I'm going to push, push my camera down here so you can really see it. See if I can get my, there we go. Okay. So, we're going to push in just a little bit, go all the way around, and you're just going through the cardboard, because I don't even have my knife out very far. And I keep turning it, and I'm always keeping what can bleed out of the way. I just kind of think about it kind of like little nibbles. A little, each little time you put your blade in, it's just a little nibble. Now, some may ask, why would I do it this way when I, you know, why don't you just cut it? Now, it's a pretty small circle. And I don't want to cut too far around, too, too out of the, the realm of where it is, or I guess. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my chair leg and I'm going to press it in there. Can you see how now we have a nice little hole that we're going to glue these into in another step. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do all four of the holes. Then you can erase all of the lines. Once all four holes are done, then let me see where's my pencil. Then you can come in and erase these lines out. Um, you could leave them on if you were painting a darker color, but yeah, I know that one of these tables is going to be pink, and one of them I'm going to paint red, and I don't want it to poke through. I want I don't want that to come through. Make sure you've gone all the way around the edges. Like oh goodness, I have a little thing right there that I need to. Can you see that? I need to get rid of that. Um, and that once all of these are cut out, and remember, nibble, 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 then we're going to be using some, uh, seal, sealant. I went to the dollar store today and picked up another, another little one, uh, to seal all sides. And when I say all sides, I mean, you're going to seal the top, the bottom, and the sides of the table um, before we glue anything together because we really like like with the the bamboo you really don't need to seal the wood 
You really don't. I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And then it lifts out. Put that over there. And I'm going to take my little leg, push it in, and give it a twirl. So now I've got two holes done. And you're going to do all the holes, then erase. Now, something came up. I'm going to kind of bring this up a little bit. That sometimes happens on the table or anything that's curved like this. Can you see that little gap right there? And it, it, it's bothersome. It really is bothersome. I was fortunate in that I didn't really get that on the top of it, maybe a little bit right there. But on the bottom, there's this right here. I think the others are pretty okay. Um, but what I wanted to show you is a little trick. Um, I just picked this up at the dollar store. It's lightweight spackle. I only get the little ones of spackle. Sometimes um, you can get it in a tube, which is also a nice way to, to, to have it. Um, always make sure, I already stuck my fingers in this, I wanted to make sure that it was good, um, that you store it uh, tightly closed because it'll, it'll dry out pretty quickly. And what you can do, can you see that little hole? I'm just going to take a little bit of the spackle. You can use a tool if you're you're not as messy as I am. And just put the spackle in there. And can you see how that little hole just kind of vanished? Now, if there are other ones that kind of bother you, like this one kind of does bother me, I'm going to do it again. And you can see I just wipe it off. I'm being really gentle and I'm being really careful along this edge because sometimes you can get like really, um, really bad paper cuts from this. So I'm trying to be very gentle. And can you see how that's filled up a bit? And if it dries in a spot that you don't like, you can just sand it off. So let's see, I think that one's filled. Let's do a little bit right there. And this stuff is is it, it isn't meant to like you know it, it's it's for you know plugging up holes uh on your on your wall where you've put um say a, a a nail hole or something and now that i've done a little bit and i'm like okay now i'm seeing more <laughs> oh be careful there that kind of felt yucky okay but you can see um the spackle can really help you out if you feel as though you've got some gaps that you don't like um, or the tape didn't hold down well enough for you. Um, spackle can kind of help you with this. Um, and if you really don't like the feel of it on your fingers, it kind of has like a grainy kind of texture, kind of like wet baking soda. <laughs> if you really don't like that, just use a pair of gloves or use a tool to do it. So you don't have to worry about it getting on your fingers. Because I know sometimes people have tactile uh, issues, don't like things on their hands. I'm not one of those people. Um, I'm one of those people who always wants to stick my hands in all the stuff that I shouldn't stick my hands in. But... So after you've trimmed the edges and put the holes in and erased, and if you have any, any problems and you want to put some spackle on them, a little lightweight spackle, you can do that. Let me put the lid on this. Um, and it's the spackle has completely dried. And you, uh, once it's dried, come in with a little sandpaper to get off anything that, that you can feel that you don't like. Then... Paint the top and the bottom with a Mod Podge sealant or any other sealant of your choice. I suggest a water-based acrylic, ba acrylic sealant uh, for this kind of material and let dry. Then we're going to glue on the legs and the stretchers.